Now I had to come all the way over here to Fiesta to try to give him some crawfish. You know, and they are small. Boy, just gotta do what you gotta do. All right, I got my crawfish. So now I need to get me some of this seasoning here. I'm gonna get this one, 309. I'm gonna get, because I don't know how much this stuff costs. What is this? Hmm, six ninety nine. I ain't got that much though. But if you're looking for something for Louisiana, just come on down to Fiesta because they have it. You know what? I keep thinking that I need to go ahead and just get one of the tickets. Man, have you ever seen a shrimp like that? Come on down to Viesta if you want some baby octopus. Look at that. They sure do. I don't have boudin, but the Rishaw is boudin too. Look at that. So now I need to get some lemon and some corn on the top. I want to get all right. I have my poor lemon. That's not bad. Look, well for 99 cents. So I got poor lemon already in my basket. And there's a little package just to stay alive. Y'all put y'all. And no, I'm not getting potatoes to go with this because potatoes make you full. I don't want to get. Oh, why is he on top of my core? Why are you wanting to go anyway? Huh? Why you wanting to go anyway? Got a whole parking lot. Huh? Whole parking lot. It's a rental service. No, it's not a rental service. It is. Come on, bro. They got a red one over there. Nah, it's like a few old. Yeah, blue one. Yeah, they don't have a blue one. Oh, LJ's. Oh, they're a truck. I oh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I had a truck. All right, LJ. Look good on you, bro. No, it don't look good on him. So coming for you when we get these new cars. Yeah. Back to the drawing board. I am getting my water ready for my crawfish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my water on and start boiling. I have to wash my crawfish, get my water on first. Alright, I bought about 10 pounds worth of crawfish because this is just gonna be me eating it, right? We're just gonna put it in here, it's contained, and it's only 10 pounds, y'all. It's not a lot, it's just 10 pounds. So, before I start washing my, I'm just going to pour it in. Look at that. They're not uh, the biggest in town, but you know what? I'm in Texas. I got to do what I got to do, okay? So, that's about 10 pounds. And I bought some corn. I didn't want potatoes because potatoes fill you up. And I don't want to get full. And it's by it being so small. By being so small, I'm just going to go with the crawfish and I got some corn that I'm going to boil. My water over there is on a fire. Come over here, please. I have my water here. I don't have nothing in here, but I show you I bought some crawfish ball that I'm putting here. So we're going to let the water just start boiling, which you haven't yet. And I will put my, probably put my crab, my um, <laughs> I'm going to put my corn here first. Before I add my crawfish, because crawfish don't take long. Once the water starts boiling hot, you pop it in there, bam, it's about done. So, 
Right now, I'm just going to have my crawfish sitting in there, sitting in there, because I want to stay cool. I don't want my crawfish to die. You don't want to have no dead crawfish. And when my water starts boiling real good, I go outside and put some water in my container and some salt, and we're going to wash those crawfish till they get water and get clean. Thanks again. I'll be back. It is time now to put my seasoning in and my lemons, and I'm going to let it continue to boil. All right, now it is time for me to put, I think I cut three, three lemons. I cut them up in little bit slices while my water is still boiling or starting to boil. I'm going to just drop my three lemons. Let's cut up in the water. And I'm getting ready. I end up getting this Louisiana crawfish shrimp and crab ball. You see that? And I'm not going to pour a lot in here yet because I don't want my corn just too long on spices that I can't hardly eat it, okay? So, and I'm not only going to do a six pack of corn because it's just me eating it, okay? So, um, I'm going to pour, I don't know, a little of this in here. And I'm going to pour most of it when I get ready for I put my crawfish in. I got to save some because I like to sprinkle my craw this on top of my crawfish. And I might put some shrimp in there too. But anyway... This is what I'm going to use. And I like Fiesta because Fiesta has so many Louisiana products in there. So we're just going to pour some of this in here. Oh, now if I had to guess how much I put in here, I would say 25% of the bag. So I'm going to let that boil some more. And when I put my corn in there, that's when I'm going to start washing and cleaning my crawfish okay that's it cooking or boiling crawfish yourself stop going to the store or restaurants and paying for $40 worth of $10 worth of crawfish and you could do it yourself so simple and easy all right got you. all right I just cut up four what's it four four onions and I sliced them in little slices and I took about 25 percent of my crawfish ball and I pour it in, in the pot and I want to put so much because I'm putting my corn first on so my corn cooker and you don't want your corn to have such a spicy spicy taste so you can barely eat it so you don't want to put too much and you want to cook your corn first because you want your crawfish to be spicy but you don't want to eat no just too hot spicy uh corn on a cob or if I was doing shrimp I would put my shrimp in too down because you don't want certain foods you don't want that's too, too, too spicy that you can barely eat it, especially your corn. So come on over here and see my water boiling. Remember, it's just water, lemon, and some of the crawfish crab seasoning. So come on over here. Come closer. I can see it's my lemon in there. And my some crawfish seasoning. So right now, since the water good and boiling, this is how you want it. I'm going to go ahead and add my corn in there and have my corn cooked. So, all right. And I'm just using a six pack of corn. That's it. Just using just a six pack of corn. It's just six of them in there. And I'm going to drop them in my pot. All right. I just put my corn in there. So, we're just going to let that continue or start boiling again. And we're going to go ahead and cover that up. How about that? My corn is about done, but I'm going to let it just simmer a little bit longer, and it's time to wash my crawfish, so let's go. I'm going to heat this part here, and that's washing the crawfish. So I think I have enough water here, and I'm going to have to do this, I would say about three, three or four times until I try to get some clear water in the crawfish, okay? All right. Oh, so guess I gotta turn my water off. But yeah, I water my garden over here. And I have it on this side here. Hold on. I have it on this side here because my garden is over here, so I don't want the crawfish water to get in my garden. So I'm gonna use the rest of the salt they have in here. And 
and I wish I wish uh, this uh, cooler had like you know sometimes the cooler has like a little open area you can pull and you know, let the water out but since I don't have that kind then I have to wash it pour this water out and pour it on this side and then put more water in and some more salt so that's where we at right now. all right so this is the crawfish let me get in the sun so you can see That's how dirty that water is. And that's what the salt is for. It's supposed to purify them or something. Yeah. That's what, that's what we do. So. I'm going to just let them. Yeah, kicking that salt. You want some more salt on you? And it's regular salt, y'all. There's no, no certain kind of salt I'm using. So I'm going to pour that out, that water out, maybe about three or four times. And put fresh water in. So give me a second. Alright, I just pour the water out. I'm going to put some more water in with some more salt. I see a few didn't survive. So we're going to pluck those out. Like that one right there. You're not supposed to cook the dead ones. So we're going to pluck them out. The ones that didn't make it. Don't ask me. I don't know why you're not supposed to cook the dead ones. But you're not supposed to. So that's why I'm taking them out. All right, I'll be getting my corn out in a few because I know it's ready. And I don't want it to be so seasoned again. And plus, I need to add some more seasoning in. So, all righty. Let me get my pan ready. Third time. So... See how he's playing like he was sleeping? See, I wish they all was this size here. See, he's playing like he's sleeping, but you know what? See that? It's like he's trying to grab you. Like right here. See how he grabbed that? But it's supposed to be medium, but this is like one of the biggest ones I saw. And you really don't want to get them too big because... Last time we had got them like the largest crawfish, and I swear they're 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 tougher. Old stuff is always tougher. I can't believe we eat this. And it's delicious. <laughs> yeah. So we're on number three with the water change and probably gonna do it one more time, just to be sure. Then, it'll be ready. So, we need to go back in the house and pull the corn out. Put the corn in the pan. Get my water boiling real good. Let's put my crawfish in. And I think that's about, I'm going to do it one more time. Get the water a little bit more clear. Number four. Salt.
All right, the water is getting clean, clear. You see that? I might do it one more time, but I don't know. It all depends. Look at that fat daddy to the top floating. See him? I ain't broke out in sweat, so let me just take my corn out. Yeah, I think I, I got two more in there somewhere. Here you go. All right, I'm going to pour some more seasoning here. All right, I'm going to pour some more seasoning, like I was saying. And let it boil. Get the ball again. Cover it up. All right. Check on my crawfish oil. Let the crawfish sit while it's boiled. Once it starts boiling, drain the water. Start it up with the crawfish. This is tiresome. It's a lot of work. <laughs> all right. Um, right now, I'm just pouring all the water out of the crawfish. This better be good. All right, I end up washing it five times, you guys. Rest of my washing five. I'm gonna wash them about five times. This is it. Okay, I'm tired. You gotta do all this just eat some crawfish. All right, it's time. Almost time to put it in. I'm exhausted. Water is boiling. It's time to start putting them in. It's my last little bit. I'm putting in the water. It's standing broke out in sweat. Okay. So I only believe it or not, I only had like two dead ones in here. So what I'm gonna do is trash me don't come till Tuesday. So what I'm gonna do is put it in a Ziploc bag and then zip it up and then put it in a trash can so my trash can won't be stinking. Alright. Alright, so it's falling now. I'm hot. Alright. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at that steam coming from it. So my water is off. It has been soaking in its nice juices. And it's time to eat. And I did add some shrimp in there, so you get the chance to see it. All right, so I'll take a little of this crab and shrimp and crab ball, and I like to sprinkle it on top. When you're doing this, please make sure you do not touch your eyes. Look at this. Don't they look good? All right, the corn is underneath here. I do have a few shrimp, like one right there. Don't this look good, you guys? Now the crabs, I mean the crawfish is kind of tiny, but I mean we got to eat plenty. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. It is time to eat, you guys. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Take a look. That's just gorgeous. All right, this is going to be short and sweet. You see my food right here, okay? Um, I have to bring it up closer to you. That is shrimp, corn, butter, and my crawfish. And I only got the butter for the, um, the corn, which I really don't need any. Oh, you also need towel, your water, towel here, and I, I like these, the decorates. So, I say my grace. 
and it's time to eat. Let me just show you. This is like this is one of the biggest ones. Like I said, they wouldn't wouldn't they big? They call a medium size, but eh, I spent about I think thirty dollars something like that. But you just peel it. I, some people suck their heads. I'm not sucking it. Mm -mm. <laughs> you peel it like this. I always get every single thing out, and I got a trash can on the side of me. So this is how it look once you peel it. Well, I ain't peel. It. I just pluck it from here. So I'll pull the shell off. And I don't like none of that stuff in there. Um, very funny what I eat. And this is what it looks like once it's clean. Do all that. I have to do all that work just for this, right? Let me just dip it right here. I didn't have to do that, but mm-hmm. That's good. And I told you I had it's kind of seasoned too. I had my shrimp. I did a few shrimp. And it's supposed to be medium size. And say some other smile, but this is what I do. Oh, that's kind of hot. So, grab a towel because you don't want to touch your face. All right, you guys. I'm going to just take another look at this. Then I have to go because I'm going to get down. I've got the TV on Hulu. I'm going to watch me a good movie. And I'm going to enjoy me. Happy Mother's Day, you guys. Ta-ta. See you guys later. I got to go. All right, as you can tell, this is my personal plate, okay? Yeah, it belongs to me. I'm going to eat this. Might get them, get some more. See, that's why I did not do no potatoes with it because potatoes make you full. And I don't want to get full fast. So I'd rather just have me some corn, my crawfish, tree shrimp. I could have did some sausage, but didn't want to. This is what I want. I haven't had this in two years, okay? So I'm going to sit back, enjoy, and have a nice time with me. One of my favorite people in the world. Me! All right, you guys. Happy Mother's Day to all that who's mothers, which is Mother's Day every day of the year. But anyway, ta-ta. Thanks for watching. Gotta go. Bye-bye.